Today, I want to talk about five marketing traps to avoid. Um, there are five standard operating procedures we all fall into in marketing, and they make life really difficult. They're unavoidable, mostly. Most of the time, when I explain these to people, they don't even uh, know about them. They're not aware of them. Um, and so they creep up on you. Uh, they happen to the best of us. So I don't want you to beat yourselves up about it. It's not a judgment issue. Uh, you shouldn't feel bad about it. But uh, these are five ways you can massively um, take action right now uh, to dramatically change the way your marketing functions in your business. And ultimately, that's money you're spending, that's time you're spending. And if you're not getting an optimal result, or if you could be getting a better result, then uh, it, uh, it's a good thing to know about it and it's a good thing to take some action. So I'm going to tell you the five standard operating procedures make it hard and uh, I'll give you a quick tip to get through it as well. And what I'd love to know is which of these five uh, really uh, caught you out, uh, which one of them has scuppered your marketing when you look back over time. Um, I'd love to know, I'd love to hear which uh, one resonated most with you. So please do me the favor, let me know um, which one of these five standard operating procedures uh, did you fall foul of. So the first one, the first standard operating procedure is that you have no marketing at all. Now this one's really obvious, but we say that. However, most of the time people are too busy. Um, people tend to prioritize sales over marketing. People tend to prioritize almost everything else over marketing, to be honest. Um, and that's because marketing is farming, uh, where sales is often much more about hunting and closing the deal. And everything else in your business is much more short term. You tend to be up against it, uh, up against the cold base, trying to fight fires, trying to make sure the customers are happy. Marketing seems really far from the, the front line. But actually, it's the most evolved and intelligent use of your time, in my opinion. I would say that because I'm a marketing coach. But the reality is marketing over time uh, is farming. And if you plant those seeds, you will reap the benefits and have plenty to harvest. If you don't plant those seeds, you won't have anything to harvest. Without any marketing, there is no sales. Without any marketing, there is no business. So the first standard operating procedure that we all fall into is not having any marketing at all. So ask yourself, who's in charge of marketing? And what are we doing? On a daily, on a weekly, on a monthly, on a quarterly, and on an annual basis. If you can't answer what you're doing on each of those five levels, then to be perfectly honest, um, you, you've got a problem. And you've fallen into that trap of not doing any marketing. Um, and uh, I want you to stop it right now because trust me, don't put it off to tomorrow because this is what we do. Exactly that. We put it off. We constantly put it off. Please absolutely arrest that behavior right now um, and start even with the simplest of plans. Just achieve one thing over the next 12 months in terms of marketing and try and make that you know, a focus and a priority and be mindful of it every day. Put a sign up in the office. This is what we're going to do. We're going to send uh, a questionnaire on Facebook every day. Uh, we're going to do a Facebook Live every month. Um, whatever it is, please do something. Start to think about your market, who your audience is, what they care about, what they need from you. It's not about selling. It's about helping them. It's about serving them. The second standard operating procedure is having some marketing but not enough planned so your marketing is very uh, reactive as opposed to proactive what i mean by that is um you you are aware of marketing but you leave it to the last minute and you don't give yourself the time to really luxuriate and to make it exquisite and and it's very see-through when it's not luxurious and exquisite it's very transparent it becomes an extension of sales um, and the customer the prospect can feel that so you've got to make it sincere. You've got to flip it. You've got to make sales a consequence of marketing. So you've got to focus on giving it uh, enough of a plan so that your prospect feels like they're being loved as opposed to being sold to. The third standard operating procedure, uh, after having no marketing, after having marketing but no plan, is having marketing and a plan but not having enough action. Ultimately, you've got to have enough action You've got to make sure you're doing enough. Uh, one post on Facebook a year, <clears throat> unless it's extremely disruptive, 
um, is not going to cut it. So you've got to have enough measured activity to keep yourselves front of mind. Don't forget, this is about making sure that when your customer makes that buying decision, that you are the most front of mind brand they think of. Your customer may only buy something from you once a year, every five years. You know, people buy couches, kitchens, cars, irregularly over a long period of time. Those brands have to work very hard to make sure they're front of mind. What's your buying? What's your customer's buying cycle? Do they buy from you every day, every week, every month, every quarter, every year, every decade? Well, you need to take action to make sure that you are uh, as visible to them as you need to be to win that business. I don't mind if you don't do it. It's not my bottom line. It's not my revenue. But my advice to you is have a plan, absolutely, but make sure it's got enough action in it to make it worthwhile and effective. The fourth standard operating procedure we often fall foul uh, of is that we have a plan, uh, we have action, um, but we have no out positioning. Uh, what do we mean here? Well, you can either out position or you can out spend your competition. For me, I'd rather out position people. I'd rather be more interesting uh, so as to capture people's imagination and attention. Uh, I'd love to be aspirational so that I don't have to uh, just be purely operational so that I can inspire people to come towards me because they know they're going to get incredible service, value, results, outcomes, whatever it is. I want to make sure I'm out positioning my competition because if I'm not, uh, if I'm not out positioning my competition, I'm going to have to outspend them. If I can't get your attention because I'm worth it, I'm going to have to spend money to get your attention. Now, you may have to do paid spend anyway. Depends on the industry you're in. But out position as much as you can. The fifth and final standard operating procedure is you've got a plan, you've got action, you've got plenty of out positioning, but you fall prey to the paralysis of perfection. The paralysis of perfection is constantly terrified that a single tiny error is going to cause you a problem and be your downfall. Your customer, like your friends and family, are prepared to be forgiving. Believe me, they want to love you, and it's a loving relationship. They're not going to take you to task. So the reality is, what is stopping you doing something in the next 10 minutes, apart from fear coming out of your ego, telling you, oh, we're not ready, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Now, before I talk about having a plan, absolutely, you've got to have a plan, but also, don't let the fear of not being structured enough, not being prepared enough, prevent you from delivering your marketing. So make sure you have marketing, make sure you have a plan, make sure you have plenty of action, make sure you have plenty of that positioning, and for the love of God, do not let the paralysis of perfection slow you down. My name is Al Tepper. Thanks for watching. Uh, I run Tepfu. Uh, we offer a fantastic free webinar. The link's coming up in a second. And we also offering, uh, we also offer marketing mentoring, uh, a marketing masterclass, and on top of that, a marketing mastermind for the really brave amongst you. Uh, outside of all of that, of course, we offer marketing consultancy as well. So if you have any needs, feel free to get in touch. But, but the best news for you is there's a fantastic freebie. If you go to webinar.tepfu.com, that's webinar.tepfu.com. We have a free webinar every couple of weeks. It's an hour long. And if you think this has been valuable, wait till you get a load of that. We turn marketing into marketing. <laughs>